once and for all, the body cameras show that all police knew that I was innocent, that I defended myself, and yet they still did what they did. And all this evidence you're about to see was given to the prosecuting attorney whether to decide what to do with this, and she decided to prosecute me. So, watch the video, leave in the comments, tell me what you think, hit that like, hit that sub, here we go. All right, can you tell me what, who, you, let me talk to you, you are my victim. What happened? Um, I was leaving, okay. and I don't know if I was close enough to him, but he kept walking up, he whacked my truck, I got out, and, uh, he started cussing at me, I went out and, and I think we just kind of both put our hands on each other. That's how close you get? You always got a body camera, right? I can get two shits. <laughs> Pod, whacked me in the head, and so I took a swing at him, and he grabbed my shirt and pushed me down on the ground. That was it. That's how close you get? You always got a body camera, right? I can give two shits. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Fuck off me. Then he pulled out his pepper spray, and I'm not going to get pepper spray. <laughs> okay, so what do you need on our end? You just what, have to get here. What? what do you need on our end? Oh, no, I'm just okay. getting a statement. I just okay. got here. And... Okay, so prior to when you walked out, did were words exchanged before he hit your truck, or he just hit your truck? Yeah, he was he was mouthing off. And well, we know what happened is so I brought my son off to get the view all this one here. Okay, he backed up to come out, and he was standing. There. Pretty much right down on this uh, yellow line. Okay. Uh, here. So I went around because I was taking off to go up. I live off of 26. So I took a right. And if I was close or not, it was probably him walking up to me. And okay. he whacked my truck. Okay. And so I stopped. I got out. And I was going, you know what? What are you doing? Yeah. And he says, yeah, you fucking hit me. So I said, I didn't know. And then it kind of just kind of got pushy a little bit and he whacked me with the, the pole then then uh, I went and pushed tried to push him back again to get him you know to get away and he turned me on the ground and, and uh, hit me a couple more times but and when he hit you so he hit you when you got out because you said you both put hands on each other so yeah. was that before he hit you the one time or that was the first physical touching. You didn't see it right? Uh, um, got out, went over there, he said, what the f*** are you doing? You know, okay. I hit my truck, and then he came up, and we just kind of both push, you know. You always got a body camera, right? I can give two shits. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Okay. Each other, and then he t took that freaking thing and just whacked me right on the side of the head. I don't know what the hell it is, but it was pretty good. So he whacked you on the side of the head, and then did you strike him back? I think I did, yeah. Okay. yeah. Closest? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember how many times? Just once. Okay. Do you know where it hit? Okay. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> and then after that, is that when you... Yeah, after that, so, yeah, he hit me, I, I went and hit him, mm -hmm. then he just grabbed my shirt and... Uh, threw me down, tripped trip me, threw me down, and uh, hit me like once. What did he hit you with? Once he kicked drivers down. Where at? You know? Uh, just my shoulder. But I mean, he's got the camera, so I, I you know. Yeah. It is what it is. So. I got a body camera, right? Okay, I'll speak with you in one minute. Just let me talk to him and then I'll get your statement.
What's a good contact number for you? 206-396. And I'm assuming you do you want to be a victim? Sorry. Okay, I needed to, to, to talk to him first. Okay, so he has no reason to do that. He is already harassing another one of our customers this morning. Who, that, that, that gentleman, okay. uh, my coworker, has it on video. Okay. Um, and the customer just ended up going away before this gentleman attacked him. So I do have another video of him with another altercation with another customer. Well, I can read up. I okay. appreciate the information. Yeah. Thank you for being cool, and being open-minded, man. I. I so this is what happened. The gentleman's been here for a while. Okay. Video recording everything, all of us, whatnot. Do you know? Have you had We've any never issues seen him before? before? We've never okay. seen him before. Um, we advised him. One of the coworkers was a minor. He could not video. Um, at that point, he didn't care. So he stayed over here the whole time. And then when they were pulling out, he, the son is in this truck. He just rented it. The father pulled out. I seen him smack his car, his truck. So then he pulled over, he got out, and he was like, hey, what's up, what's up? This one got in his face. And then they started shoving. He had that big old long stick that he was swinging at him. Mm -hmm. He hit him a couple of times. He fell on the ground. And then I've seen underneath, that's when he kicked him. And so then his son, I was like, hey, he's attacking your dad. So then he jumped out to try to separate him and get him between them. And this one, just swinging that stick or whatever it was, and then he put some little plastic thing away. The gentleman said it was for his camera. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. When you take pieces apart, it looks like a ghost gun. Oops, I think ghost gun. Oops, I think ghost gun. It's a little plastic. It's white. Okay. So it may just be something for his camera. I don't know. And then at that point, that's when I called you guys. Okay. Um, and then he went to go help his father try to get him separated. And then this one kept going at the dad. At his, the dad was in his truck, and this one kept going across the street at him, threatening him. You always I got a body camera, right? I can give two shits. Here, wait for me. Get the fuck away from me. Did you hear what he was saying? No, I don't know. Something about you're going to get it. It's something or something. And he was like, fine, do whatever you need to do. And he's like, I'm not going anywhere. And then he started cussing and harassing. He started swinging and sticking all of us. And then my boss said, just stand back. Because she did call non-dispatch a while ago to come and get him because he's harassing our customers. Customers don't want to be videotaped. you know what time she called earlier? Because I didn't see a call come out. Um, like maybe 10 minutes before this happened. Oh, okay. So, and I can have Riley come right now with her phone and show you the altercation because Riley recorded it with the other customer. But the customer was like, don't video me. And then they got into an altercation. Well, I can read up. I okay. appreciate the information. Yeah, thank you for being cool, and being open-minded. man. Um, she's actually parking that truck right there. So. But yeah, I was the only one out here, and it just, it all happened the way it happened. I don't know if the camera can touch it because it was on the other side of this 15-foot truck. Mm -hmm. um, but my boss may be able to get it off camera. I think that's what she went in there to go try to see real quick. Okay, so did he swing it at you? He just swung it. It just, in general, when we were standing there, he's like, oh, no, 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 Come here. Come here. I will call you if I need you. Uh, yeah. No problem. Huh? Yeah, no problem. Hi. Okay. What a fucking fun mess. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, okay. So this guy shows up on our lot about 40 minutes ago. And my the guy on the electric scooter? Yes. Okay. His name's... It starts with a G, I think. I said it. Yeah, he just said it. I, I called like dispatch it. regarding this already. Okay. Because he's already gotten a confrontation with one of the customers that was leaving here. And okay. I can give you his phone number if you'd like. Yeah. Um, he didn't want to be recorded. I'm trying to get my thing to work so that I can cut a clip for you guys and okay. you guys can um, go. However, um, I don't want him here, so I'd like him trespass. That means he can't record mm -hmm. us from afar either, right? Not necessarily, okay. right? So, uh, so if he's on a public road or sidewalk, 
But he can't record I, us. I can't restrict. Nah, he, he, okay. he, he can record from a public location, right? Like he can, he can record even the front of somebody's house or anything yeah. like that, as long as he is standing in a publicly accessible area. Okay. Right? Now, that could escalate to a point of harassment if it was continuous and repetitive and evasive in nature, but those are like elements that would have to be built over a certain period of time. Right. Um, so, general sense, it's not going to just on its face value, I can't prevent him from standing in a public area. It's going to be a First Amendment issue. Okay. Okay. Um, can't obviously be on your property. I would right? like to so, trespass So, him. if we trespass mm -hmm. him, yeah, if he steps foot on your property, then he could go to jail for trespass. I mean, I've been okay. cordial with him. I told my employees, look, don't give him what he wants. Just ignore him, you know, and uh, they have been to the best of their ability. You know, but yeah. he's sitting there recording everything that's going on. So it just kind of, we're working, right? Yeah. Um, Riley told him she, he was, she was a minor and he still continued to record, record although she's a ZT. Yeah. She lied. She lied. She lied. But he's still re it's okay. he, he did I, I record, so. Okay. Um, well, if you can work on getting video, that would help yeah. me out. And then if you'll get the name of that other customer that he had yeah, a confrontation with. Right mm -hmm. Okay. I'll give him a call. You want me to give him a call, give him a heads up, or? Uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. We'll give him a call. It's not going to be a, we're not going to do a shock and awe campaign on him, so. He's been here since I checked this guy in, uh, at least prior to um, 2.59 p.m. Um, customer's name is... All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, let, let us know. We'll come back and check with you yeah, if you're I'm able to get that. I'm working on it. Kind of okay. So, uh, we'll have you sign again if you want to okay. go. We warned you the possible state distribution is not going to be able to do it. Uh, okay. Can you talk with anybody inside? I'm assuming not, right? No, yeah. not yet. Okay, so yeah. I just talked with the, that's the outside. manager that's inside. Uh -huh. Uh, he's been here since 2.59, kind of harassing customers as they come in and out. Got I've got uh, contact info for another guy that I had a competition with. Okay. Um, I don't know that there's necessarily a crime involved, but it might add to whatever we got here. Obviously, this is our guy who's been going around trying to basically prompt First Amendment issues. How is this? Meet Sergeant Levitt. Sergeant Levitt has been with OPD for a little over 10 years. He made $157,000 in 2022. Remember that number when you watch how he runs his investigations. You pay this man. Your tax dollars, all $157,000 of them, go into his bank account. This is a little bit of his training. You'll see some certificates. You'll see some accommodations. Uh, some of them are from one and two hour web se seminars. This is who we give power to. This is who we give money to. These are the people that we trust to protect us. And with all these accommodations, all these certificates, you think he would have been able to handle a simple investigation like the one I needed him for. With all of this, with $157,000, the investigation they put into me, that's what paid for it. The worst, crappy, obvious investigation of self-defense, but they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it because I was an auditor. Reporting everybody as they're coming in and out of the business. The business is already asking to leave and stuff like that. Um, they do want him trespass from the property. Obviously, that doesn't apply to streets and sidewalks, right? Yeah. Um, she's working on video right now. And the altercation would be pretty far out if they do have cameras that would potentially catch some of it. 
So she's working on that. Okay. Okay. What else do you need? Not that I need to hit him, so I mean, we've got some seeds for an assault. Okay. So, he's saying that, this guy's saying he was standing on the road, but he's like, I did not hit him. He's like, this, this guy's accusing him of striking him as he pulled out of the, something? yeah. Oh. So, that's where it initiated, because he pulled out, he says, he pulled out, he's like, I might have got close to him, he's like, he was right there on the, the edge of the parking lot, and the guy just railed his truck with a stick, and he's like, I got out, and was like, what the F are you doing, you know, and then they came over, they both put hands on each other, like, grabbed each other, yeah. um, and that's when he said, uh, the guy, like, whacked him with a stick, and he's like, I got him, like, one chest punch, he's like, but it knocked him to the ground, and then he kicked him when he was on the ground. Um, okay. Uh, Alright, so PC for this guy. Yeah. So okay. for. Okay. <laughs> Was there anything else other than the dude that got hit that you needed help with? No, just Okay, so uh, and, uh, everything looks fine. Uh, yeah, everything looks fine. Okay. He signed out. Okay. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He so wanted to get checked out, so he's. He's good. He's he's good. good and you're good, then we're good. Okay. Yeah, he's he signed for us that he didn't want to go. We offered him a ride to the hospital. Okay. Alright, that's it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, see ya. Hey, like on video? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately that fucking truck's blocking it. But you can see him drive by. Just ignore this guy. He's looking for a rise out of us. If we give him a rise, he's going to be back. Yeah. Just ignore him. Right? Yeah, he's been going all around town doing the same stuff. To Making people uncomfortable? Trying to get a rise out of people. And so this is when they're... Uh, okay. Hold on, i got to rewind it just a tad. His truck's right there. Let me give, give me one second. I was up in the upper lot parking a truck, and I then I realized it was parking our local back there, and I came right here, and then I walked around. He was already over there at that point. Okay. Okay. All right, let me go talk with my officer out there. Oh, what? What, what did he hit you with? Um, it was that monopod. Um, for this camera, the steel rod. Okay, it's a, like black hand, black and blue. It's that black stick. thing that it's in the front basket okay. that yeah. it extends out to that, about this. That's when he hit you with. Yeah. Okay. And when he hit me, it didn't. And then all of a sudden, I just. Okay. Okay. That's what I want to know. Thank you. I can kind of see yeah. what's going on there. Okay. Is that in in his body cam video, the other egg gets out and grabs. So what it. goes on top of this? Oh, I that? I can kind of see yeah. what's going on there. Okay. Is that in, in his body party? cam video, the other egg gets out and grabs. So what goes on top oh, of this? I get that? I mean, all of us, even him, he was standing there and he just started swinging it. How close was he? How close was he when he was swinging that stick? Okay. He was standing there. 10 feet, maybe? Uh, give me that video that you recorded. Well, I only got like three seconds. But it doesn't matter. Okay, well that's all. Show it to her. You can't even see. See? No. You can't see There's anything. nothing. It's not showing it? No, 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 I... no. The video of the other customer that him and that other oh, customer no. got into it. So he's been here for a while. I mean, there's this. He's, that was at 3.05. He was already here for like 20 minutes. Just, just standing in your parking lot? Yeah. Just videoing everything. Yeah. And so the customer started videoing him, and then they got into it, and before an altercation, the customer just left. We were like, just go, just go, and he left. I feel bad for that man. He flew. When he hit him with that stick, he fell on the ground. And then he just started. And that's when I told his son, your dad, your dad. And then he got out of the truck and helped him. Pushed that guy away and then got his dad up off the ground. But he was swinging that stick. Take notice. This entire clip here, I'm not in control of my monopod. This thing that I'm hitting everyone with, that I'm smacking customers with, that I'm pummeling Papa Blaylock here. 
from the second he grabbed me, I had no control over that monopod. Everything they're saying is just a flat-out blatant lie. The weapon I was apparently using on them, I never even had a hand on it from the second everything began. This is how they trick people. This is how they lie and conspire to put innocent people in a concrete hole because they don't want you there with a camera. It's that simple. It's sad. Okay, hi. Do you have your ID with you? Just so you know, I am. Who do you work for? So. Is this your dad? dad is, I did not see the start of everything. Mm-hmm. But I saw kind of the end result and I stopped. So, It's a good contact number for you. The address on there is not good though. It's it's updated to the DOI. So what um can you tell me what you saw? What? Uh, so we came in, like I was driving up, so I'm helping the back of the house with the section. Uh, so I'm over here by this used car dealership he was recording earlier. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really doing anything. Uh, as he was here, he was standing. Uh, I'm not going to walk over there with everybody out there. He was standing like what basically would be like construed as like either in the road or on the sidewalk. Mm-hmm. Uh, all he was doing was some really taping. Um, my dad was pulling out as I was backing up, so I, mean, I didn't see anything. All I saw was his vehicle stopped, and those two were kind of in a tussle. Um, that guy ended up swinging the I'm pretty sure I saw him swing a stick. But the- Officer Blaylock knows that he's lying. He knows that him and his dad chased me with the pole, not me chasing them. Officer Blaylock is lying. My dad ended up on the ground and he started coming up on top of him. That's when I just stopped and I started running towards him. I didn't touch him at all. I just told him to get the fuck away. He stopped and backed up, pulled his pepper spray out, and started pointing at everybody. So I'll have you You were recording it, correct? Correct. Could would you show me that video? Yeah, absolutely. It might take me a minute to. Um, I've been charging it because I was almost on a dead battery. I could not get out of the way anymore. The man that was in front of you is Officer Edwards. He has been with the Olympia Police Department for a little over eight years. In 2022, he made just over $140,000. Officer Edwards was one of four police on scene. Even after seeing all the evidence, audio and video proof still sided with the company on mere emotions and without facts had clear evidence right in front of them and they even admit i'm gonna catch them in these little clips if you guys are paying attention they knew they knew that i was attacked they knew that he came at me it didn't matter All these certificates, all these accommodations, all these classes that they're getting all this credit for, what is it worth if they can't do a simple, routine investigation with evidence just falling in their lap? But they can't. This is what we pay for. Incompetent, 
bias individuals who clearly do not care about their citizens. Unless you're donating money or unless you're donating your time, these people could not care less about you, about me, and about everyone else, especially if you're holding a camera. You guys be safe out there. He threw my phone after he got a hold of it and chucked it out the street. Is your body camera hooked up to, to that where you can watch it and... Um, I know you can play it back on the unit. I just haven't ever done it. Cool. So, the video is really close. Hmm? I think he did get really close to it. Based on the video from inside, it doesn't look like he's dragging out. I mean, he's coming out kind of hot out of the parking lot. Yeah. But, I mean, he's just turning the corner. But he's, from what it looks like on that video, he, he looks like he's almost in the other lane as he's coming in. And then he just takes a turn onto this road kind of fast. I'm sure he came pretty close, but I mean, he's hidden behind the, the vehicle here. The you haul pretty well. You can't, at least from the video, right? You can't really see him. Yeah. He's behind the video. He's definitely not out in, in the road, even visible from the entire time that that guy backs up and moves forward. So as far as like, knowing he's right there, at least from the video, you can say it's hard to tell that he knows he's there or not. In any way. So um, the actual altercation is right here, so it's blocked by the vehicle. You can tell there's some some sort of altercation based on shadows under the, the vehicle, but that's about it. And then, you can see this guy kind of in the roadway, and then the other guy looks like maybe, I'm assuming, gets up off the ground and then comes, comes at him. And then his son, I'm thinking, is in this U-Haul right here, mm -hmm. jumps out and goes to kind of intervene between his yeah. dad and, and this guy. So, anyways, that's what you can see on the video. Can I turn into a prosecutor? I don't know who he is. Yeah. yeah. But, that change your decision in? Well, I mean, it was almost like a mutual combat, but then he pulled out the... I mean, the guy got out. But did this guy get out of the current victim? Did he, like, actually assault this guy or something? They just... Well, he said, he's like, I put, like, we both grab each other, like, put hands on each other. Because you can hear him in the video get out and be like, you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, what are you... What are you hitting my truck for? And he's like, did you get any clothes? And he went, like, you see the truck, like, come. Huh? I mean, it... I can see why he was upset, but then I can see why. I think I'd be more comfortable referring charges okay. than taking him today and seeing what the, add all the video and the prosecutors can yeah. okay. from that. Alright, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, Obviously, make sure he's trespassed. You can let him know that where his bike bike is currently parked. That would be considered private property. So he's he's not on the city sidewalk. I mean, it might be there. I'm only gonna do the trespass form, and then I'll explain everything. To okay. What what did he hit you with? Um, it was that monopod um, for this camera, the steel rod. Okay, is it like black hand, black and blue. It's that black stick? thing that it's in the front basket okay. that yeah. it extends out to that, about this. That's what he hit you with. Yeah. Okay. And when he hit me, it didn't. And then all of a sudden, I just. Okay. Went. Okay. That's what I want to know. Thank you. We have that. You guys don't charge people that assault people standing on the side of the road. You got to be kidding. He grabbed me. Yeah, as well. After he tried to hit me with a car. It's definitely car drives by. He's got to move out of the way of the car. This guy comes out hot and heavy. And 
went goes for the grab and I even told him I have a body camera, look, and you still attack me. Next we have Officer Lazowski. Officer Lazowski made eighty-eight thousand dollars his very first year off the taxpayers. Not bad, huh guys? You're gonna see that he has a few accreditations, a few certificates, participation trophies, basically. And he still did a bang-up job at my investigation. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we get what we pay for. Except we don't. Not like this. What business do you guys still have to conduct here? Uh, I just have to swap these out. Don't leave it. Okay. Yeah, I got to keep loading. Okay. All right, perfect. We'll hang out. Mostly keep peace at that point, right? There's no need for y'all to go back and talk to him. No need for him to talk back to you. All right, so let's be smart about it. And Okay, perfect. What's that? What's going to happen? So we're referring charges to the prosecutor, right? Because we've got two assaults, right? Well, from the video, you assaulted him first, right? You went up, grabbed him, put hands on him. Okay. All right. From the video, you assaulted him first, right? You went up, grabbed him, put hands on him. Okay. All right. That's an assault. It's okay. called unwanted touching. It's assault four. Okay. And then the second assault occurred when you were on the ground and he kicked you. Okay. So we have two assaults. We can't arrest both of you at the same time and you'd be a victim and he'd be a victim of the same incident right so now we're gonna have the prosecutor take a look at it and see what they want to do okay yeah you know he's been trespassed you're welcome it just when he hit the truck it just i should i should have just went so yeah so yeah, that's, we're going to let the, uh, just, just um, give me a second. Let me be the city prosecutor to go through it, and we'll go from there, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, thank you. Hi! No one. What's, um, what's going on? <laughs> uh, can we just arrest, can you just arrest that guy already? He looks like um, So... I noticed you guys have a camera on that back corner that faces the street. Yeah. Is that motion it's sensor? It's only motion sensor, okay. so I don't have live. Um, is there any way I can see if it picked up any motion of the incident that occurred with these two folks? Maybe I can show you what there is real quick. Okay, please. yeah, perfect. Um, and just so both of you guys wear, my body camera's still rolling, so. I hate that they don't let you guys do anything anymore and stuff like that. Oh no, this was more of a... They should, he shouldn't be allowed to, like, just do... Ah, well, I mean, they, they still have their, you know, First Amendment right to... Yeah, but the, you have to have granted the right to listen. Ah, <laughs> I, I don't have to listen. <laughs> I <love it> here. <laughs> what went on over there that started off? Um, so the gentleman... Uh, that's got the backpack across his yeah. chest that's yawning and screaming. Yeah. Um, he is a First Amendment auditor. So what oh, he does sure. is he goes around, oh, videotapes places, yeah. um, essentially waits for the business to call the police. Uh, nice. Because uh, people aren't comfortable with people videotaping him. Unfortunately, in a you know public street, public road, he can do that. Yeah. Unfortunately, and, um, but that's that's his goal and purpose. Um, people got some a little angry over it, and an incident occurred between two parties, and people threw some punches and got thrown on the ground. So I should have looked at that yellow car. See, because it like skips over it. Okay. So you know, right. do, do that's. Know? That's fine. We've we've got video from the U-Haul and oh, stuff okay. as well. So I was just making. Just seeing if you guys would have caught a different angle or something like that. And yeah. Go from there. But, all right. Perfect. Well, thank you. All righty. We tried. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Perfect. You guys have a good rest of your day. Card. That's gonna have the case number. I'm gonna give them one too. He's been trespassed. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Is, is there a way you can put my work information down instead of my... my... Yeah. Give me a minute and I will. We're going to let the... Uh, Just uh, hand me a second. Let me get back to you. Here's my card with the report number on it. Okay. So you're not going to be on the this this group? No, no, no. Is there a way I can get my and have report my Okay. What is the number on that card? Sorry, it's 38738. Okay. Question. Yeah. Ooh, where at? Uh, Buckeye. 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 I just... God. Where at in Buckeye? Uh, you know, uh... Um, what street? Well, it's, uh, Sun City Festival. Okay. Um, so it, it's way north on Buckeye. It's at the clock. It's almost just, just off west. Off of Watson? No, or it's, it's, it's off of, of uh, Sun Valley Parkway. Okay. Okay, Bell Road yep. turns into Sun Valley Parkway. Okay. So it's not down... Is it like Colorado area? At the north side? Yeah, yeah. But it's... Yeah, north you're north you're north just don't look. Don't. Just look at me. Just look at me. So I lived on. I lived in Old Town Buckeye. Oh, you did. I moved here in December. Oh, you did. Yeah. So I was uh, the recruiting sergeant for the Arizona State Patrol. So I was uh, the recruiting sergeant for the Arizona State Patrol and came up here. So I was with them for about seven years. So there you go. That's yours. I'm not meaning to be a pain. No, you are fine. Um, God. Okay, what is that address that you... 525. 525. West. Your phone number. Do you have a work phone? I do. 360-890-0027. I'm going to list that. Okay. Just because... Okay. And I'll put your information as restricted. I can click it restricted, too, yeah. so he can't get in. Yeah, I just... I can click it restricted, too, yeah. so he can't get in. Cool. In mute real quick. Tactical mute. In mute real quick. Tactical mute. In mute real quick. Tactical mute. I'm still recording, so. Get out of the front of my vehicle so I can move, or you're going to be arrested for impeding traffic. Have a nice day, sir. Then you're going to be a condescending prick by gaslighting me. Well, that pretty much sums it up. One car with two officers leaves and gets as close to me as Blaylock did, and they laugh as they drive away. And the sergeant on duty, Mr. $160,000 a year, knew how upset I was, knew how mad I was. He has all these certificates on de-escalation. The last thing he did was tell me, have a nice day, sir. The most arrogant, condescending comment you can make to a citizen after the way you treated them the way you treated me. Let's say we have a police department that has 100 officers. 99 of them are unbelievable officer of the year candidates. And then there's the one dirty, rotten, lying tyrant that the other 99 ignore. Now, how many good officers do you have in that department? Zero. If 99 ignore one, you are complicit. And the tree is rotten to the core.